The Club Q shooting suspect said he had been awake for days before opening fire on club patrons last month. That's according to the newly released arrest affidavit, which includes a written statement to be used as court evidence. Denver 7 investigative reporter Jennifer Kovaleski shows us what officers initially found at the scene and what they learned about the suspect. We're learning chilling new details about what happened that night at Club Q. A judge ordered prosecutors to unseal the arrest affidavit by the end of the day today. The five page document takes us inside what officers saw as they responded to the shooting. It's been 18 days since hate walked into this Colorado Springs club and turned a safe place for the LGBT community into the latest scene of a mass shooting. Prosecutors have formally charged the alleged shooter with 305 counts for killing five people and injuring 22 others. Now for the first time, we're getting the perspective of the officers who were on scene that night. Newly released court documents detail the timeline and how the alleged gunman arrived at Club Q. Five minutes before midnight, surveillance video shows the shooter parked a gold Toyota Highlander just feet from the entrance to the club. Police say the suspect, Anderson Lee Altridge, was wearing a ballistic vest and was carrying an AR-15 style assault rifle. Video also shows the moment the gunman walked in, opening fire immediately after people in the club stopped the shooter. The arrest affidavit says the suspect was overheard at the hospital telling medical staff he was sorry and he had been awake for four days. The document also describes conversations between the suspect's mother and police. She told officers they were supposed to go to a movie, but Anderson left on an errand he told her would only take 15 minutes. In court filings, the suspect identifies as non-binary using they, them pronouns. The arrest affidavit written hours after the shooting identifies the alleged gunman as a male, which is why the quotes in our report use he, him pronouns. A preliminary hearing is set for February. I'm Denver 7 investigative reporter Jennifer Kovaleski. The same day asset affidavits release, we're also learning more about a 2021 bomb threat involving Aldrich. The FBI says it received a tip about Aldrich the day before the suspect was arrested for that bomb threat. The threat forced the evacuation of an entire neighborhood in Colorado Springs. The FBI says it conducted an assessment of Aldrich, but that ended when state charges were pursued. Those charges, however, were eventually dropped. Denver 7, along with other media outlets, are seeking to have the documents from that case unsealed, and a judge is expected to make a decision on that during a hearing tomorrow morning.